Good morning guys, welcome to another day in the life. Yeah, I haven't been waking up at 4.30 the last two days and it is more because one, my fucking sleep was ruined. Maybe I should have kept going, but on the other hand, I can't even fucking chill with my family at night. And so this is one of the reasons and the other reason is that, well, I'm not really in this grinding season anymore. I more want to learn more as well more want to read more books and watch more videos and when I woke up at 4 30 I was like making three videos a day and this is not the path that I want to walk on right I want to give more value in one video and not three videos without really a lot of value so that's one of the reasons and maybe it's just because I'm a bitch I don't know first I'm gonna take a quick cold shower so I've taken my cold shower now I'm gonna do some meditating. I'm gonna meditate a bit longer. Normally I'll meditate 10 minutes, but I think I'm gonna up this to 20 minutes. I also feel like 10 minutes is just so short. You barely have to focus on your breath and it's already gone. So I'm gonna do 20 minutes of meditation. And after that I'm gonna do some visualization, probably 10 or 15 minutes. So I'll talk to you after that. Yeah, just do my meditation. I'm gonna do some visualization. So the last step of the morning routine which I've just done is journaling. I just journaled one page and on the other page I've set my goals. So mostly long-term goals. Uh, I've checked off the habits, cold shower, meditation, visualization, and journal. And I've set my goals for today. And so that's all really. Tonight I'm going to add some three things that I'm grateful for. And this is very important for my mental health. I find that if I want to be mindful, I need to do these things. I, these things will really help me get myself be calmer in my head. Really help myself be more mindful, more present, more happy. And so for me it's mandatory. <coughs> Well, that's a fucking noise. I'm gonna feed the geese and I'm gonna feed the chickens. The geese, they are sometimes here, sometimes at the neighbors. I mean, it's a long story, but I'm gonna feed them now. So I just fed the chickens right now. I'm gonna run 15 kilometers. So I'll see you when that's done. I'm not really looking forward to it. I fucking hate running, but again, I'm training for a marathon, so I have to, I can't just call that shit off I need to do that shit I committed and so I have to do it so I'm gonna run 15 kilometers right now see what it's, when it's done I'm back for the run just run around 15 16 kilometers I don't know exactly but it was about one hour and 20 minutes so now I'm gonna refresh myself real quick I'm gonna eat something and then I'm gonna cycle to the office me with some leftover rice with some eggs and some milk, all organic of course. Yeah. So I just arrived at the office. I came with the bike, right behind me. The guys are all here. So yeah, man, I'm, uh, there's the office. Sitting at the grasslands now with uh, Aaron. And I don't know, man. Lately, I've been feeling a bit, uh, not depressed, I want to say, but it sounds a bit cringe. But I have a bit negative thoughts, man. Like, I feel like I've just been stuck in the same spot for months now. And I'm not making any real progress. Yeah, I don't know, I just don't see, like, this is what men need, I think. They need some sort of hope in the future. A sign that they're going the right way, the right direction. But I'm just not seeing that right now. So I'm at the gym right now. <laughs> there he is, man. I'm doing some uh, dumbbell incline. I'm gonna hit the chest today, I'm gonna fucking destroy it. So I just went to the gym. Uh, now I'm gonna go home, it's... Um, 4.30 in the, in the afternoon right now and I'm gonna chill a bit with my parents 
and yeah, that's the day basically. So it is, I don't know, whatever time, I think it's around 9 o'clock. And I just came back from my parents, they live in their house behind me, so I live in basically like a studio apartment type thing on their land, on their property. It was an old garage. I don't know, it's an old story, but I was just was just with my parents, we ate together, we had dinner together, and we talked a bit, we did a little bit of, uh, uh, yeah, just chilling basically. Sometimes it's important to love the people close to you, right? And that's what I always see with older people, right? These older people, they don't care about the same shit as we do. These older people, they don't care about the money, they don't care about nice cars good food i'm sure that they they like it right they care about it in that sense but one thing that is the most important and i see it in all old people sense of social connection sense of family a sense of togetherness and so if there's one thing you could learn from all people it's that have that little bit of sense of social connectedness and don't stay on that grind all day but also chill a little bit with your family with your parents because not, they might not be here forever. That's all. I'm going to sleep. Good night.